We are exploring the UK in our self-built camper van, and this week things get emotional. I love it. He's so cute. We take on yet more first, and Wonderbus wants to get in on the action too. Who doesn't want to be under their van when they're on holiday? Our trip is beginning on a Thursday night, and it is in the middle of a heat wave. It's absolutely boiling. Let's see how we cope. Hope you enjoy. Ooh, so we just got here. It's like 36 degrees today and we had to put the heater on on the motorway to stop the engine overheating. It was going up 85 up to 90 so we were bordering on it. Anyway, we just got here having a look at where we need to pitch and uh, we're just filling up with water. Thursday night actually so we packed up and we've got away. We're camped in the field on this site. Very other people here at the moment which is great. Just behind literally the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal is just there and you can see boats literally moored right behind where we're parked which is cool but it's really nice here it's nice and cool much cooler than it would be at home I've just noticed that there was a smell of diesel so I filled it up before we came here I really filled it up because I was curious at how much it would hold and it looks like there's a loose jubilee clip or something so I'm just going to clean the tank up I've got some pellets underneath here in a bag just to stop it leaking into the grass. So, see if I can stop this leak. So obviously we don't want to be parked in a bunch of leaking diesel. It's all fun and games, isn't it? Thankfully I've noticed it literally within an hour of us being here. So I wrap the pipe in blue roll, popped a bag underneath, and a repair will be done tomorrow. And tonight there is gonna be the last supermoon of 2022 and I believe a meteor shower. So we're going to try and capture some of that. The crystal clear skies meant that we had a great view of the supermoon and sleeping temperature was pretty good too. Is this a man thing? Anyone else's husbands just randomly get up and stick their head out of the skyline or just mine? <laughs> we then got dressed and took a really short trip down the road to Slimbridge. Hello. <laughs> Though those ones are a bit rough. By this point, it was already 30 degrees, but Slimbridge is such an amazing place to visit, and it was right next to our campsite. I love them. Look at his little feet going. Baby Moorhead. <laughs> The parent is behind it. It's okay. What? I love it. He's I so cute. It. I'm only crying a little bit. <laughs> Why are you crying? It's <laughs> <laughs> And I love it. I am emotional day. <laughs> <laughs> Happy day. We were lucky enough to see the last remaining otter here at Slimbridge. And several different varieties of flamingos which although being a little bit smelly are lovely to look at <laughs> after feeding some more ducklings we just had to leave slimbridge because by this point it was absolutely scorching oh, it was good today very hot though we just come to a little town called dursley to have a look around it's like 33 degrees at the moment pray for what the bus might be like when we get back to it. Um, need to look into getting an awning. I think we're gonna make one from like a sun tail or something, but any tips on that would be welcome. I'll tell you what keeps you fit, <laughs> carrying 26 liters of water, waste water across the field. So that said, I'm walking through the old pictures here. I reckon I'm probably the only fool that is carrying my waste water across the dump here because there's some nice lush green patches where other vans have been but I don't want no rodents underneath gnawing away at my undercarriage that would be awful I'm not into that in any way it has been hot today uh, but actually inside the bus hasn't really been much hotter than outside okay so next thing we managed to get hold of a jubilee clip I think it is a leaking clip where the pipe joins the tanks and it's going in. I think it's that, but it's weird because the leak looks higher than that. So I don't know if it's come out of the top of the tank or the tank split. Basically, 
You have pipe that comes over, we've got twin tanks. From the filler neck over into this one. And it comes in under on the bottom. And it's literally just a Jubilee clip that secures it on there. And this Jubilee clip, which we'll see in a minute, it failed. So I've changed it now. Who doesn't want to be under their van when they're on holiday? I think you'll be going for a shower tonight. It was covered in diesel. But hopefully that's fixed it now. It's only a small drip, like I said, but a small drip is probably about seven thousand pounds of a diesel a day, and you know it smells. And if we hadn't spotted it, it would be leaking into the grass. Thankfully, we did, like I said, all fixed and sorted. You can hear the fan going. The electrics are working pretty well, actually. So every morning, get out, make breakfast. We even use a little blender to make drinks. And it all seems to be coping quite well. The majority of the stuff we try and run through the 12 volt, but obviously that's through the inverter. And having a look at the stats over the last couple of days, we've gone down to the lowest we've ever gone down to with 71 amp hours overnight. And then by nine o'clock, it's all put back into the batteries by the solar. Haven't had to use the battery to battery once. As we were parked up right next to the Sharpness and Gloucester Canal, we decided to take on some of the sites. Oh, I have to hire a boat one day. Yeah. Today we decided to do the next best thing. We're going. We're on the boat, and I think, I think we're now gonna go. The lady said Lily is gonna get to steer the boat, maybe. 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 Do you think you can do it? I think I can. Could you do this? Do you think? I think so. After a short time. Captain Lily got her first chance. And Captain Lily is at the wheel. Driving the boat. Driving the boat. Kelly really didn't want to do this, but after some encouragement from me and Lily, she hopped on and did a brilliant job. Are you doing a good job? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. Good. Was that? Very receptive. I didn't realise how, like, you don't have to turn them very much. I like, turn them too much. Too much. You have to go left to go right and right to go left. Well, Paul and Starboard is a, a seasoned seafarer's say. I have my RYA level 1 to 3 and my powerboat license. Yeah, well, I still have it. I haven't driven, I haven't uh, piloted a boat as, as a day for uh, about 20 years, but I've still got it. Yeah. It went past a paddle border and I didn't kill her, so that was good. It's like the mark of success, really. You didn't kill anyone. Or knock into anything. Yeah, and me. So, are you good? Yeah. So we're going to give you a job, that's Yeah? Yeah. She would do it. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Alright, here comes a hotel. One it, doesn't want to give you that. It's not quite a Premier Inn. It's a bit more impressive, isn't it? The Edward Algar is a floating hotel that does cruises from Gloucester all the way down the canal. But yeah, we're at the Black Shed, so come and find Keith and Sonia, husband and wife that do the boat trips because they do all sorts. So we just went out on a half an hour boat trip. Due to the heat wave, really, yeah. it's just so hot. But you can you can go up to where the ship ruins are. Um, you can go all the way down into Gloucester. They really they'll do anything really in between that on the day, depending on the number of people that want to go. But we yeah. had a private boat trip and it was twenty quid. For all three of us, it's like crazy. And me and Lily both. Like steered the boat or drove it. Yeah. Drove steers. 
Good. But Amazing. Nine, and they're really lovely people as well. Lovely people. Really cool. Yeah, lovely people. And that was just right for us today because it's so hot, really relaxing out on the water. And lovely sights too. But thank you so much, Keith and Sonia. We, we just loved it. It was, it was so really good. Brilliant. So good. And yeah, nice. We're going to go and see what's available in the pub. See if anything we yeah, can have. We stopped at the Tudor Inn for a couple of hours to cool off. Big thanks to the waiting staff for checking the allergies for Lily. The portions were great and it was really tasty. After the boat trip this morning into the afternoon, done hardly anything but just relax on the site because it's just so hot, like ridiculously hot. It's been hot in there. So hot, it's crazy. Like everything's been like a bit of a chore, like doing anything. But weirdly not, like not really any hotter in here. Um, no. At night, it's lush because you can like open everything up with like an hour before you go to bed and it really drops down, doesn't it? Yeah. And then it's fine. Like better than sleeping in a house. Yes. But in the, I'd say it's hotter than it would be in a house in here at the moment. Yeah, yeah. but if you compare it to outside. Yeah, yes. It's not too much hot. It is hotter in here, but. Yeah, at the minute. Oh, so I've got the other one. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I think we'll cope. It's coped well, really, in the heat wave. We've coped well, haven't we? Yeah, I think so. What have you liked about this campsite? I really liked it because there's, I really like like the bird centre near the campsite. Yeah, it was good, handy, wasn't it? Yeah. What happened the first night? The first night... I fell out of bed onto mummy. <laughs> so get a cushion to fall. <laughs> Although I would say the hot weather as well has kind of given us more ideas of stuff that we need to get, hasn't it? Yeah. Like we definitely yeah. need an awning for more shade. Yeah. We definitely want to get out something so that we can cook outside. Yeah. As well. If we've got yeah. a gas point down there, I'll talk to you more about that in a minute. We think we've invented something. New. Basically, I'm Salt Bay if this comes off. Four and a half million in a month. Pfft. Watch this. That Rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Good, right? Wow. Well, we wanted to test it so they weren't poison. It's all in the interest of market research. Now we're going to go pick something else. At the top of the field, there are rows upon rows of glorious sunflowers. Granted, we've come at the end of the season, so we have to do some really good hunting to find the perfect ones. It's a little bit dangerous this side. Dangerous? Uh. Oh, it's very hot today. I'm just going to go down another row. They've got all sorts of different types here. One of them's dead, but look how many other ones it's got. Yeah, I didn't just look at that one. <laughs> it is done though. Thank you. <laughs> we spent just under an hour here at Over Farm, mainly because of the heat. But we'll definitely be back because we know that there's things going on for autumn and spring. Oh, that's a good one. I know, I saw it. He didn't like you picking it while he was on it though. He gone. He was like, buzz off. He went on the next one. So we made our way across the field after another successful trip away in the bus. Granted it was a short one, but we think this is just the thing that we need to do over the autumn and winter months. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching.